there are over 40,000 described species of spiders. And each species makes at least one type of silk. Most species make multiple types of silk. So for any application you can think of, there's probably a spider silk that's just perfect for it. I'm Dr. Cheryl Hayashi. I'm a spider silk biologist. I study the properties of spider silk and the genes for silk. Spider silk has amazing properties, and you can see this when you just go out and look at a spider web in nature. So imagine a spider web that's so thin it's nearly invisible. And you have an insect, a flying insect, comes flying into the web. When the insect hits the web, the web stretches, it extends, and it's able to absorb the impact of that flying insect. And this flexibility is really important when it comes to catching flying prey. In my laboratory, what we do is first we go out and we collect live spiders. We bring the spiders back to the lab. We try to keep them as happy and healthy as possible. And we collect silk fibers from them. And then we carefully measure the properties of the fibers. We try to answer questions such as, which spider has the strongest silk? Which spider has the most flexible or stretchiest silk? Which spider has the toughest silk? And we use this information so we can compare different spiders and different silk types to each other. We also characterize the genes for these silks. With these properties, spider silk can be used in a variety of applications. So for example, it could be used as an artificial tendon to make people healthier. This is a very exciting time to be a spider silk biologist. Advances in technology are now to the point that we're much better able to take the lessons that we learn about spiders and spider silks and translate them into applications that will help people and the environment. The opportunities are endless.